What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. These are T-adapters. They are not all the same, and we're gonna talk about that. Hey guys, DJ Mike James coming at you from the 343 Studios. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit today about T-adapters. Um, most of you guys, if you're running any type of trussing and a crank stand or something along those lines, uh, you're going to need a, a T adapter to, to mount and pin that trussing to. And I need to tell you that not all T adapters are the same. Um, there's a few things you really need to take into consideration uh, when you are looking at T adapters. And I'm glad I made the decision I did when I was looking at mine because I had thought about opting for a cheaper T adapter. Um, however, the salesperson was like, well, you don't really know what you're going to get. And I didn't know what he meant at the time until I got mine and seen some other ones. Um, what I've got in front of me, these are Pro-X Pro Universal T, uh, T adapters. Um, they come with an inch and a quarter mounting sleeve with a tie down bracket. Of course, your adjustable slides and the brackets to hold up to two inch piping, which of course, if you're running regular box trussing like Global, Cedars Link, Pro-X, these are excellent for that. They do have their lockdown pins. Again, adjustable slide in and out. You can balance that load on your crank stand depending on what you're doing, but that's a very important function. This is a Pro X T adapter that came with the crank stand and three solid triangle truss pieces. Um, apparently they fit for that, however, when I tried to use my Pro-X trussing on this, one, it would barely fit into this U-bracket. And then secondly, you couldn't pin your truss because these are typically meant to go between your cross angle bars and pin your trussing in place. So if that thing's gonna rock or whatever, it's gonna go down as one piece. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna slide off. And that's what these actual top pins are for. Not only is it to hold it on top of the thing, but it's also supposed to be pinned through your trussing sections and hold that truss from sliding back and forth. This is a Cedars Link Universal T adapter. Inch. These are all inch and a quarter mount sleeves. So most of our crank stands are inch and a quarter. I'm assuming if you get into the bigger, you're flying bigger truss, you're flying all two inch. You got two inch stands, two inch pipe. These are gonna, these are gonna, uh, actually not, these are an inch and a half, so these are larger, and I'm gonna show you with the Pro-X truss uh, T adapters that these actually fit inside there. So on a standard crank stand, this is gonna be super loose up there. Cedars Link makes this one. It is a two inch, it's super good quality. I really like their U brackets, their tie downs, the way this is designed, but that is an interesting thing that they made there their mounting sleeve an inch and a half, whereas the standards on either one of these are inch and a quarter, and they fit nice and snug on my ASC crank stands. I just crank them down. I usually like to position my knob either to the inside or the outside, depending on which way I'm running my wiring down the trussing, and I use these, these. Uh, so be mindful when you're out there looking at T adapters. They are not all the same, even from the same company, Pro-X, Pro X, these are absolutely not the same as you can just obviously see just from the sheer size, you're not gonna fit a two inch pipe in this in this particular T adapter. And like I said, this was the one that came with the set with the crank stand and the triangle trussing, the three triangle trussing sections. And these I ordered separately because I bought my crank stands, my trussing, and my T adapters all separate. And again, I was glad that I did make the decision to get the universal one from Pro-X because it will fit up to a two inch pipe. Again, you can slide these out or in depending on how wide the spread is on your on your trussing, you know, how, how, how far apart they are. They're pretty standard now at 12 inches. Again, mine are a little shorter because I would open it a triangle, so they don't have to be spread out as far. And I do have these locked in where they go. Like I said, the Cedars Link one with an inch and a half sleeve, two inch universal bracket, which is awesome. I love this bracket. They look fantastic. However, the issue with this one is gonna be that inch and a half sleeve because you're gonna have a lot of play on your crank stand. So hopefully you guys, uh, you know, take some hints from this as far as like when you are out there trying to order 
T adapters for your cranks and for your trussing, take into consideration that these are not all the same, not by, not by a long shot. Like I said, I really enjoy the Pro-X uh, Universals. These are the ones I bought. I'm a big fan of Pro-X. I use a lot of their gear and I, you know, all the time. And I really like going with them. Again, Cedars Link is a great company as well. But again, there's a design issue, which I'm not sure why this is inch and a half and has so much play on a standard crank stand. But again, smart money would be go with the Pro XT adapter, the Universal, make sure it'll fit up to a two inch pipe. Not only that, it also gives you the height to be able to pin your trussing. Whereas this one, you couldn't even get the, you can even get this over the pipe itself to, to pin that. So again, hopefully this has been a beneficial video for you guys. It's a real short tech talk for you. Uh, I want to say I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys are uh, like, commenting, and subscribing. Support I'm getting more and more of you guys. Are, I do have a giveaway still going on and that's going to run until December 12th. So if you haven't checked that video out yet, make sure you do that and I'll catch this you on the next one. This video is made possible by 3 4 no, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding.